So then the question comes, can this patient be cured? He has a solitary lesion in the liver, uh, but the only way to cure this disease is really with surgery, and that means either a resection or a liver transplant. In regards to surgical resection, the challenge is this patient has some decompensation in his liver disease. If we calculate his child pew score, we can see that he's a child pew uh, seven points, which is just at the, the entryway into B class cirrhosis. And that by itself probably precludes a surgical resection. In addition, we would look at his platelet count as a marker of portal hypertension. Uh, in this case, his platelet count is 98,000, which for many surgeons, a platelet count under 100,000 under 100, would indicate a degree of portal hypertension that is not, uh, would, that would preclude a surgical resection. So now we're thinking a liver transplant. He is within Milan criteria. He has one tumor less than five centimeters. The other part of Milan criteria being up to three tumors all less than three centimeters. And with that in mind, the patient can be considered for uh, a liver transplant. But in the United States, that's not a procedure that's gonna, in general, happen very quickly. There's gonna be a, a fair amount of wait time on the waiting list. So how do we manage this patient? Well, treatments that are aimed at the liver are very effective at treating cancer. We know that chemoembolization, which is a local regional therapy that goes through the femoral artery up into the liver, can be very effective at managing liver cancer. It can be a definitive treatment for liver cancer. Uh, it's been shown to help people live longer. Also, for some patients, radiofrequency ablation is another appropriate liver-directed therapy. Unlike chemoembolization, which goes through the vasculature, radiofrequency ablation goes percutaneously through the liver. But we know the best results with RFA typically occur with a tumor that's less than three centimeters. So now we have a patient who's got a four centimeter tumor, some liver dysfunction, but otherwise a good for performance status, an ECOG of about one. And we're trying to figure out what's the best management for this patient. And certainly chemoembolization would be very appropriate. It'd be appropriate whether he's going for transplant or not. Now, since patients have a long wait time for transplant, we, we have the sense that we don't want their tumor to get bigger. Should it get bigger, they may fall out of uh, the wait list or drop out. And so in practice, it is very common for patients like this to receive a chemoembolization procedure while they wait for transplant. Now, the data that this improves outcomes for transplant does not exist. Uh, however, the sense is that we get some time to observe the biologic behavior of this tumor. You know, patients who have newly diagnosed liver cancer, even though it's within my lawn criteria, some of those may be aggressive tumors. And to take them to transplant, even if it was feasible, right away might not be in their interest. And so local regional therapy plays, I think, an important role in managing these patients who are on the liver transplant list, or even if they're not, just as a definitive treatment. If this patient had a bad heart and could not get a transplant for that reason, chemomobilization would be an important part of their management.